In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to top up a Magura rim brake. For this, you can leave your brake all set up on your bike. All you need is a bottle of water and a 3mm Allen key. First, you want to flip your bike over so it rests on the back wheel and the handlebars. Then, you want to unscrew the TPA all the way out. You don't want any play in the lever, so you want the piston in the lever to be as far as possible. Then, when you press down on the lever blade, you should be able to feel some slight sponginess. Where pushing the lever in does not make your brake pad move. This is what you're trying to get rid of. So now, you want to unscrew the bead screw on the lever and keep it in a safe place, as you don't want to lose it. You then want to get a cap of water from one hand, then gently squeeze the lever until you see a bit of water coming out of the bleed hole. And release the lever blade slightly until the water in the bleed hole goes in about halfway. Then you want to top up the bleed hole with water, then you want to release the brake lever a tiny bit more until the water goes into the bleed hole and then top it up and keep doing this until the lever is all the way out and the bleed hole is full. Once you've done this you want to get your bleed screw and screw it back into the brake lever body. You want to do it nice and tight so no water can escape. This when you try using your brake to stop the sponginess and made your brake more responsive. You can use the same technique with Magura Royal Blood except be more careful and surround your brake with tissue.